We're going to talk about the books I've written. I've written 37 books. I'm known for having written the uh, probably one of the best versions of Musashi's Book of Five Rings in the entire world. That's this one right here. A lot of people read it and just look at it and say, well, it's a book about killing. It's not. You know, it depends how you look at something. There's the uh, basic uh, interpretation that you're going to develop. Then is the interpretation you have the second time you read, oh, wow, that's interesting. And you read it the third time, you even get a more of a, uh, an understanding. But where you want to really get to with anything you're doing, and that's the premise of the Book of Five Rings. After I had done the Book of Five Rings, the publisher came over to me and says, you know, one of the problems we have with books like The Art of War and all of these great, mystical, uh, profoundly deep philosophical works of the ancient masters is that they are always shrouded, I like this word, shrouded with mystery and ambivalence and like trying to confuse the reader. The truth is, and the evidence of the work stands by itself. And this is what makes a great work. Does it stand by itself with what it's trying to impart to you? After the Book of uh, Five Rings and The Art of War, the publisher came over to me and said, why don't we come up with the next level of management or whatever it is that could be involved that's based on something that goes beyond simple management? I said, well, the only thing that would go beyond management at this particular point would be ownership or kingship. I said, well, do we have anything? I said, well, there must be something around somewhere. I mean, I, I've never really gotten into it. Shogun Scrolls. Shogun Scrolls is based on the docufiction approach that I use to creating an ancient text with modern modalities. What would come after that? Heaven. Heaven? So we did the Living Tao. Now, The Living Tao comprises 81 original poems and 81 original explanations of what those particular poems mean. It's basically coming to terms with the fact that there is no such thing as yin and yang, which is not to suggest that yin and yang do not exist. One of the things that I did as a result of The Five Rings, by the way, was a recently released book that I had done which was called The Lady of the Rings, okay? Is Musashi's Book of Five Rings interpreted for women's empowerment? Now, uh, uh, get a good look at this. Get in close on this one, okay? This is The Lady of the Rings, and she is a real human being. This is the Book of Five Rings for women by a woman, relating the story of my student and my dear friend. Ann Davis, okay? These are essentially her words. But this book takes up where the regular Book of Five Rings leaves off by pointing specifically and directly to women's issues. Let's get out of that and let's do a conversation between Musashi, Sun Tzu, and myself as the moderator. Whoa, that's pretty heavy. You putting yourself in that class? I says, absolutely. Because if I know enough to talk about them and to explain what they're teaching, then I also know enough to moderate it and to put my opinions into it. Sword in the Boardroom. Sword in the Boardroom is a synthesis of the teachings of Musashi, Sun Tzu, and Kaufman. Okay, anyone that's interested in any of my activities as far as teaching, seminars, or any, any of the other activities I'm involved in, aside from the martial arts, feel free to email me at hanshisworld at gmail.com. Okay? You go to the website as well, hanshi, H-A-N-S-H-I dot com. Okay? You'll find out what's happening with that. And meanwhile, I'm working on something else at the same time here. I'm working on this new idea about the self and understanding of the universe and how to make it work is, bought, is, is starting to come into me. Okay? And I'm not talking about this new age stuff now. man. Perhaps new thought, but certainly not new age. Okay? With channeling, with incense, with peppermints, with butterflies. There's got to be a more substantial thing involved. 
I could not think of a name of what it was. Aside from the fact that it's a, it's a universal religion. I don't like to use the word religion. It's a universal concept that enables you to command the power of the universe. Well, yeah, I know what you're saying. You got a lot of nerve to say that. Well, do I? No, I don't. Because let me tell you something. It was revealed to me. Therefore, what other thing to call it than self-reveal? Self-reveal. Self-revealization acceptance. This is an introduction. This is volume one. Volume two, which I have just released now. By the way, we're going to be redoing the cover on that. It's called Practicing Self-Revealization Acceptance. 52 Weekly Ascensions to Empower Your Life. Now, you hold in your hands, once you have the book, the absolute key to the universe. I'm not going to sell it. you got to find out about it. Okay? Any information you want about any of the books that I have written is Hanchi.com. There are snippets at my author's blog called Hanchi Books at WordPress. Okay, you can find that. That's easy enough. But self-revealization acceptance is the most powerful, most profound concept for ascending to the highest realms of consciousness ever given anywhere in history. End of story. And as this thing was germinating in me, my beloved wife at the time, why don't you write a novel? Write a novel? Well, I don't write novels. I do nonfiction. I don't do dialogue. Write a novel. Write a novel. What am I going to write a novel about, man? Hey, write a novel. I says, all right, I'll write a novel. So I did. It's called The Hanchi of Central Park. The reviews that this got, I mean, I, I had no idea what was going on because, first of all, I said, I said, well, I can't do dialogue. Well, then I said to myself, well, all these other things that I'm developing in my head, man, of course I can do dialogue. The Hanchi of Central Park is, has, has, got, has a reputation of all the, you know, 300 pages. You can't put it down. I'm not just saying that because, hey, dig me, dig me, dig me. Yeah, but dig me, dig me anyway. The Hanchi of Central Park, moving right along. And I said, wow, that was cool. I really dug doing that, man. Okay, so wait, what are we going to do next? Well, how about book two in the Hanchi David Mann series? Okay. <laughs> the Hanchi in Brussels. Now this starts, but now you got to understand something. My writing skills are starting to develop. And as my writing skills are starting to develop, I'm getting better at the craft.